In this video, we're going to take a look at fossils, which are basically things that have been left behind by long dead organisms. So it could be a skeleton made of rock, impressions in the ground, or entire organisms that haven't decayed yet. The reason studying fossils is so important is that most of the organisms that have ever lived are now extinct. So the only way that we can learn about them is by looking at what they've left behind. And by studying these fossils, we can see how organisms have changed throughout the past, which provides evidence for evolution, as we're able to see the small incremental changes that took place over millions of years. Now, there are loads of different types of fossils, because there are loads of different ways in which fossils can form. But there are three main ways that you need to know about. The most common way that fossils form is by gradual replacement by minerals. Because body parts like bones, teeth, and shells all decay really slowly, it means that as they decay, they can be gradually replaced by minerals. And so they slowly form rock-like substances, which are in the exact same shape and size as the original structures. So when we dig them up and separate them from the surrounding rock, what we're left with is a perfect model of the bone or tooth it was made from. Two similar types of fossil are casts and impressions. We get casts when an organism is buried in a soft material, like clay. And as the clay hardens, the organism decays, and we're left with a gap that's the same size and shape as the organism was. We often get casts of things like animals' burrows or plant roots. Meanwhile, impressions are things like footprints where organisms leave a mark on the ground that stays there over time. Very occasionally though, fossils can form by preservation, where no decay happens at all. This happens when organisms get stuck in amber or tar pits, and because there's no oxygen or moisture, no decay can take place. And so the organism remains completely intact. It can also happen in glaciers, where it's too cold for the microorganisms that normally carry out the decay process to survive. Or in peat bogs, where it's too acidic for microorganisms. The oldest fossils that we've found so far are between 3.5 to 4 billion years old. But we don't have a complete fossil record. There are currently big periods where we don't really know what happened. And importantly, we still don't know how life first developed on Earth. One reason for this is that many early life forms were soft-bodied, so they would have decayed really quickly, making any fossil remains unlikely. Another reason is that fossils that formed so long ago may have been destroyed in the time since. For example, by volcanoes, earthquakes, or perhaps larger geological activity like the movement of tectonic plates. The last thing we need to cover is extinction. We can say that a species has gone extinct when no individuals of that species remain. There are absolutely loads of reasons why a species might go extinct. One of the main ones is that the environment changes too quickly. For example, if a species' habitat all gets cut down or destroyed, or if the entire planet gets too warm too quickly. Or it could be because a new predator arrives and slowly kills them. This has happened over and over again with human hunting, as we've driven entire species to extinction. It could also be due to something like a new disease that spreads through a population and kills them. And this could happen all at once in one big epidemic, or it could slowly happen over years and merge with other things. A common reason is that a new species comes along and outcompetes them for food or some other resource. Or more rarely, a catastrophic event might occur, such as the asteroid that hit Mexico and wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. Anyway, that's all we had to cover today, so hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.